Good. Thank you very much for the question. Uh, empowering NGOs in the Ghanaian Armed Forces is very, very important because NGOs in every military plays a very crucial role. They set as examples to the enlisted and they ensure that standards are maintained and enforced in every military institution. The, those institutions are there to produce quality NCOs and not quantity NCOs. In every institution, like I said, NCOs form the backbone of every military institution. So if you have a weak NCOs core, then you are definitely going to have weak military institution. So it is very essential that all NCOs are trained very well, are educated very well, so that they are able to perform and function as NCOs. Yeah. Currently, uh, the NCOs Academy is under construction in uh, Tamale in, in Ghana. Uh, it is aimed of at least training at least 100 or more NCOs at a go. Like I said from the beginning, is to make sure that our NCOs are trained, educated, and they will be able to function. We are looking out for quality NCOs and not quantity NCOs. And since the NCOs still remain the backbone of every institution or every military institution, we have taken the pain to train our NCOs so that at least they will be able to function and that will ease the burden of officers. The women are given equal opportunities like the men. We are in the same institution and we are working together. So it is up to us to ensure that we bring our female NCOs also up to an appreciable level so that they will be able to function within the military. It should not be all men, but it should be inclusive. Women are very, very important and they play a very critical role in every military institution. It is very important because there is no country or there is no country in Africa or in this world or any military institution in this world that operates in isolation. No country is an island. So there is the need for us to have that collaboration, more especially those of us from the continent Africa. Because anything concerning a country in Africa concerns all of us. More especially in recent times, we have a series of terrorist activities taking place in some of our African countries. And if it happens in your neighboring country, then you should know that you are a possible target. And there's the need for us to come together, collaborate, and learn from each other and know how each other country operates. And I think it is a very good opportunity for us to come together and share common ideas so that we can operate as a simple force. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I think this conference has been very helpful. It has opened our minds. We've been able to discuss some of our challenges. And currently, we are working at it to ensure that we are able to bridge that gap. Uh, more especially, uh, one of the things that came to light was uh, instructor development, curricular development, and then training aids and materials. And I think it's one of the issues that we are discussing with our American partners, if they can assist us in getting those facilities or help. It will go a long way to boost our chances of performing as a military profession.